mistake will be to think that Pacquiao doesn't have the power to hurt him. Trust me, he has the power to hurt him. Work the eye. Let me see the eye. Yeah, yes. Yeah. It's okay. Tony, you've got to close up the defense. But you've got to throw your hands in. Use your jab. Use the jab first. Start up with the jab. Here you see the left hand shot to the bottom, which I think started all of the serious problems for Margarita. Even though he was being outpointed, seemingly with that shot, he never has recuperated. And if you notice, his body form is bending over as if he's still hurt from the body punch. He looked wilted at the end of the round. And that right eye doesn't look good. The cut man in Antonio Margarito's corner is Francisco Espinoza. He's got a big job on his hands now. Sensational round for Pacquiao, who landed 43 of 62 power shots, demonstrating what a lot of people said coming into the fight, that Margarito is a big but easy target. Tapia Box tells us that Manny's output in round four represents the largest number of punches ever landed on Antonio Margarito in a single round. And you know, Pacquiao punch is very accurate, too. He doesn't just waste punches. His punches are very accurate. I think he's the most accurate puncher in boxing, Emmanuel. He even has the ability to adjust the punch in mid-arc. Yeah. Margarito going to the body against the ropes. That was the first moment that Margarito actually made it look for a moment that's, that's like his fight against Cotto. And here comes Pacquiao. As always. He loves to answer back. Yes. Incidentally, guys, I mentioned CompuBox saying that Pacquiao just landed the most punches ever landed on Antonio Margarito in a single round. This despite the fact that Margarito went 12 rounds with extreme volume puncher Paul Williams. He fought a great fight against him. But Pacquiao's hitting him harder. Yeah. As, Absolutely. As, he jolted as, as, back, or jolted Margarito with the left hand there. Jolts him with the right hook there. Pacquiao's fighting spirit is something to behold. He loves fighting. And you know, he always wants to get the better of an exchange. That's why it's hard to win rounds against him. Because if you get him with a punch, he's going to get you back before the bell rings. And look at the different angles that the punches are coming from. When Pacquiao's trainer, Freddie Roach, was asked about the huge weight advantage that was likely here for Margarito, he said, look, I don't know if he goes up to 180. Every pound he adds is better for us. Pacquiao takes his little breathers by the ropes, and Margarito takes advantage. But he didn't have a lot of snap on his punches, did he? Yeah, that's right. He, Margarito doesn't have much punch, uh, punching power at all at this stage. He has had something taken out of him again, Emmanuel. The body shots. That one shot to the body seemed to have changed the fight tremendously. Not that Margarito was winning, but at least he was fighting with better spirit and better speed. But that one shot... Everything seemed to sap out of him for a moment. Well, of course, since Manny's a southpaw, it wasn't a left hook to the body, it's a left cross, but the oh, bottom Margarito line lands in the same place. Straight left hand shots for Pacquiao, staggering Martirigo momentarily there. Big right hook. Great shot. Another great round for Pacquiao. Well, the right eye for Margarito speaks for itself. And just to make things worse, 
That's the eye out of which Margarito has to try to track Manny Pacquiao's lightning left hand. Maybe the fastest punch in boxing. You know what, and, and not just speed, but he punches with power. Most of the guys that have speed, they don't have power. Pacquiao in the fifth, or, or Pacquiao through the first five rounds, averaging 33 out of 81. Margarito averaging 18 out of 63. 63 punches average per round for Antonio Margarito, who at the height of his career a few years ago was averaging 100 punches per round. The punch output gets limited when you start fighting in a brand new style as he's doing tonight, and when you start to get hit hard by somebody like Manny Pacquiao. Uh, Look this, at Pacquiao move from side yeah, to this side. Is, this is what I said he should do continually. Creating but angles? Creating angles, yeah, because... There's Margarito, no way Margarito can no, find him. No. no way Margarito finds him when he does that. Just too much side to side. Pacquiao was moving to his left to start the round to try to move into Margarito's eye where Margarito couldn't see him. That didn't work, so he, he started moving right and beat him up that way. Offseason last year, Chicago Bears cornerback Charles Tillman made a pilgrimage to Las Vegas to watch Manny Pacquiao fight against Miguel Cotto. Afterward, I asked him what was most impressive. He said, easy, the footwork. I've never seen yeah. any athlete very, in any sport. Yeah, very many people realize that his footwork is phenomenal. Yeah, that's and, what and Tillman said. Punch. I've never seen an athlete in any sport who can get to so many places so fast. And have punching power. A lot of guys move, but it's strictly footwork. He can move and punch from any of those angles or balance positions that he's in. Margarito having a better round this one than the last couple. Still losing by a wide margin, obviously, but actually landing some punches yeah. in exchange. Well, Manny's taking something of a breather this round, it appears to me. But he's winning the round still, I think, uh, Manny. I've given, I've given Manny every round of the fight so far. Some bigger than others, but he's winning all of them. Now Margarito catches Pacquiao twice against the ropes, and Manny finally is able to dodge away. But this gives Margarito energy. This yeah. gives him will and confidence. Suddenly, he's back in the fight as he's tasted for a moment the advantage of having Pacquiao against the ropes. This is Pacquiao's nightmare. Locked in a trap against a much bigger man. Fights his way out of it. Bloodies Margarito some more. Just the ropes, the best exchange of the night that favored Margarita right here when he was landing a lot of blows and Polo Manny was trying to get away from him and he was landing shots body and head. But at the end of the round, still Manny came right back with a lot of blows again, which still made it could have been a close round because that was the only really good play for Ma of Margarita. But I think Margarita should have won that round. Pacquiao is racking up some astonishing numbers though. 39 power punches landed in that round. Now round seven begins, the more than halfway through the fight. Harold Letterman, how do you have it so far? Okay, Jim, I've got it six to nothing, six to the 54, Manny Pacquiao. I gotta tell you, as close as that sixth round was, Manny Pacquiao still landed the clean hard shots. I thought he pulled it out in the end. Be as it may, Manny circling back and forth, you know, bobbing and weaving, getting on the Margarito shots, and landed tremendous shots of his own. And Jim, the one thing we can't measure is the amount of pain that Margarito feels every time he gets hit on that on that swollen eye. I mean, he really must be hurting. Six to nothing, Pacquiao. I agree with Harold. I thought Pacquiao was one every round, including the last one. 
You know, and Jim. But, but you got those rounds that is called comparative rounds. I thought Manny won it, but I think that on the scorecard, Margarita may get it because it compared to the other rounds. Yep. But he really didn't win it. But a lot of judges do that just to keep him in the fight, so to say. Jim, you mentioned that it's Pacquiao's nightmare. I think Pacquiao loves it. It might be Freddie Roach's nightmare to get trapped in that fight. But I think Pacquiao loves a good scrap like the last round. I think you're correct. I think it's Freddie Roach's nightmare. I think it might be Bob Arum's nightmare. But the bottom line is, you're right. Manny loves to fight. Loves to fight. Loves the challenge. Well, this is a dazzling display of boxing skill, power, everything. Ring generalship here. Unbelievable. So, in a historical sense, and obviously the fight's not over, but how good is he, Emmanuel? I I'm think he's one of the best fighters I've ever saw. And he's what we call a natural. Been getting with a good trainer that really improved him like Freddie did and brought the best out of him, but he is a natural fighter. Well, I'll say this. I've covered boxing for 24 years, and I covered Ray Leonard from ringside, and this is the best offensive fighter I've ever seen. He does it all and fights everybody. That's what I like about him. He's, he's, he's really enjoying himself here. You see him try to do the kind of ollie shuffle <laughs> a few seconds ago. <laughs> to see what's kept Margarito up in this fight is his enormous size. The size. Advantage. The only thing, Jim, before the fight, you said you could see it possibly going a 12 round decision only because of Margarito's size. Yep. That's the only factor, but it's strictly a Pacquiao show. No, if, if I had a prediction, it was going to be that Pacquiao would win all 12 rounds, win a unanimous decision, and there'd be a lot of nervous moments in it. Yes. I thought Pacquiao would stop Margarito right around the sixth or seventh round. And um, you may be on target. Or, or you may be because Margarito is, 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 seems to be weathering these storms pretty well in spite of the look, in spite of the way his face looks. Margarito's hanging in and he's having more flurries as the fight continues. But Pacquiao just stunned him with a right hook and backed him off again. Two more big power shots for Pacquiao to finish the round. Here you see Manny Pacquiao landing all of these precise punches, even with a guards up in high defense, he still pinpoints areas where he can get through and penetrate. But to me, the fight, the perfect fight is the way he fought the last round, punching, moving, in and out, taking advantage of that great natural coordination and balance and footwork that he had.